District quarterfinals getting underway here from Jefferson City, Missouri, Elias Catholic High School. The Rolla Bulldogs come calling for the first time since 1981 for the 8-1 Elias Catholic Crusaders, finishing off a fantastic regular season and getting things underway here week one in the playoffs. We just saw this is fourth down territory. Houndsome fools everybody, keeps it himself on the bootleg and takes it right into the end zone. Touchdown, Rolla. A five-yard keeper for the senior quarterback. And now it's third down and seven from his own 33-yard line. I have to think the Crusaders will look to the air for their first completion of the game. That's exactly what they do. Good protection out of the backfield. Warren makes up for the drops. Jake Warren with the catch at the 35. He's got nothing but daylight. Touchdown, Elias. 67 yards. Calvaruso on for the field goal. This is about a 27-yarder. It's well within his range, as you can see. He boots that nearly all over the track here at Hengis Stadium. That's big for them. Back to the wishbone. Houtzel back to throw. Pump fakes, looks deep into triple coverage, and it's picked off. Griffin Bushios cuts back at the 30. He's got a chance to take this one all the way. Sweeps to his right inside the red zone, makes a well-educated cut and gets down to about the 16-yard line. Houtsum rushed the throw, and what a costly mistake. You, you wonder what Hawaii's would do if he weren't okay. Right. They don't have a third quarterback listed on the depth chart. Brody Mays into the game for the first time, and it pays off. Touchdown, Hawaii's. A six-yard touchdown, John. Hench said, hey, even then, if you would have told me that we would have been coming in at 7-2, I certainly would have taken it. Wolken looking to the end zone, a wide open Damon Johans makes a catch for a touchdown. Hey, you know, I've seen that every single week. Even if the numbers aren't there, he's looking more confident. And you see it right there, a beautiful touchdown pass, 30 yards to Griffin Bushos. Finally gets a scoring catch for him, and Helias continues to pull away. And it's single coverage on the outside, and it looked like it was. It was uh, trying to figure out a number there. It was, yep, Dathan Mickham, who's had a tough time all yep. night over there with Bush Yost on that left side, and there in single coverage. He just gets burned deep, and Bush Yost got a step. He kept rolling. That's touchdown number eight on the season. Did not catch a pass last week, and so it's good for him to get back into rhythm, and that's one of their best targets. He leads the team in receiving touchdowns, and it's the, uh, it's the eight, number eight in the season. Weaver the hold. Calvaruso clobbers the PAT, nearly kicked it out of Ray Hench's stadium. 31-7, the Crusaders in control when we come back. And Pritchett able to lower his shoulder, get into the end zone. What a huge play there before the third quarter. Rolla drives a really nice chunk of the field. It was Dawit Pritchett finishing off the run for a quick Bulldog score. 8-18 left to work with. They motion Ray out of the backfield. Keep an eye on him. They're looking his way, but they've got a wide open man. That's Elijah Cunningham, the tight end, and he is not going to be caught. Easily in for a score. Make it three catches, three touchdowns on the season for the tight end. Down for Helias. Calvaruso looked like he was upset because he thought it could have been roughing as well. But he gets a good kick out here, taking out his frustrations that time. And what a coffin corner punt. Vino Calvaruso showing his stuff. Pushes Rolla way back into their own territory. And Helias ends up really getting the better out of that situation. Calvaruso on for the third time tonight. Hit from 27, had it blocked from 41. That one is good. So three more for Helias, 34 to 21 they lead. The fans starting to smell a playoff win. Helias advances in the Class 4 District 5 tournament here. Mitchell playoffs well underway.